Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy John for the Ambitor here. Welcome in you back to some more freaking Soglock because why not? Um, we are out here, we're big chilling. Honestly, I'm excited for what's gonna transpire in today's episode because it's episode 190, which means that it's a pivotal moment and a very pivotal episode. So we are gonna go through Reversal Mountain. That is the goal for today. Also, I looked at it and I was like, I swore you got a second encounter in this place. I think the strange house will provide what I might be looking for. Oh. Yeah, there it is. I was like, I swear. I swear I get another encounter. It's another freaking normal type, but it's fine. I, I, I'll live with it. It's it's okay. Um, We also found our infinite bowling up place. Okay, then. <laughs> just just outright try and kill the beagers. I see you. I freaking see you. I, I got you. I got you. It's also a corny because it's not a beagers it's because freaking it's an evol or it's a female ex -blouse. So it's a Courtney, guys. We haven't had a Courtney in forever, but I'm excited because, yeah, like like I said, this is bound to be an insane episode. I feel it in my bones. But yes, I found my forever training spot because this dark grass has ballistas in it. And I'm just like, thank you for, for somebody who does not need EVs right now. And uh, yeah, for somebody who doesn't need EVs right now. It's like, okay, cool, thank you, I need that. And if I do need EVs on my Pokemon, and EY, hold on. I almost fricked that up. I feel like I spelled that wrong still. It's, I could have gone through DMs, and I really should have, but... Anyways, so yeah, we got that done. We And figured, I was like, but yeah, so there's Blissies in here. Plus, Blissey plus Lucky Egg is just overpowered when it comes to getting a good amount of H or XP in, in battles. So like the fact that we got it is perfect. We're primed for success now. We're gonna finish the Bianca Joyce section, but yeah, knowing that there's a place for us to literally grind is great. We also know that there's Relicants and the Relicants have Memento um, and there's Steelixes. Like, that grass has some great mods. Ariados, not great. Uh, the pants, like, not great as far as experience goes. Panseer and Swaddle, again, not great as far as experience go. But it's like a good 50-50 spot. And if you hit home, bam, you're getting a lot. But if you don't, you're not, you're getting like 500. Which is still not bad, but it's not great. So, I, I know that. Are we ready to take on the mountain? Yes, we are. Because you auto-heal me, please. You and none of your Pokemon are in trouble. Okay, fine. You're right, Joy. None of my Pokemon are in peril. Oh, we started out with the rotation battle. Here's... So, I've passed Farmlock, which is crazy to me, because I'm like, I still don't feel like I should have been past Farmlock, but I am. So, Joy gets to see instead... Oh, I knew better. I literally said, oh, by the way, in rotation, but I like gave the biggest hint and how to deal with rotation battles. And I went, by the way, they're always going to switch. And then they don't when I make fun of myself. <laughs> of course not. But, ooh, that's mechanic I don't know about in uh, that kind of a battle. Does... Does the stat boosts reset? Like, if I rotate, I don't think they do. I think I'll still have the negative stats. Okay, curious. I see what you did there. Yeah, like I said, I still think I'd have my negative stat changes, but... I could be very wrong in that thought process, and we'll never know, because I, I'm not going to look it up. There's, like, they come so few and far between that I don't really care. 
that's literally how I feel about that. They they come not often at all, so like, what's the point? Ooh, pip blup and. So, ooh, Bianca Joy has a Bronzong. Did I get auto healed? That's a good question. Did I? Did I? I, I think I did. Yeah, I did. Okay, cool. Also, do you have the lucky egg right now? Ugh. I don't know if I should even keep freaking clickbait as the uh, as having the lucky egg because I don't use clickbait as often as I should, quite frankly, but. Bianca heals you. There's no reason to go into double battles if you don't have to. I will progress through this area slower if that means being safer. So that's my game plan. Ooh, Lucario's a toughie, though. Lucario's that Pokemon you don't want to see fighting you're, yourself or this team fighting. It's another one of those steel fighting menaces. <sighs> Just like Cobalion. But. Yeah, that's the Pokemon I don't want to see us having to fight, so... And especially when you hit a fight, uh, fighting move. Me. Especially when you do this, it doesn't do that much damage in the first place. Oh, that's going to do nada. That's doing, like, nothing. Thank you for giving me that free pass. Also, thank you for letting me know that I'm faster, because, yeah, I didn't know that I was faster. So this should actually do really well. Dang, freaking, what's crazy to me, right, is that Siren is tanking and being a menace as a freaking Seedra. Like, this is, we're not talking about a Kingdra right now. We are talking straight up about a level 45 Seedra that has just been kicking it ever in a day and I'm like go for it kick it girl but jeez like if you were to tell me that freaking siren would be this much of a god I would have been like no siren would have just died it would have been bopped like now mind you that means I didn't learn from freaking um what's it called um Sogalock, or not Sogalock, um Mothlock but like I thought that was just a one off thing I didn't think Cedra was actually going to be that powerful throughout the playthrough and it's not even that and again it's not that it has a good supporting cast at all if anything i i think its supporting cast is a little bit lackluster but i don't know is that just me downgrading this team because of lack of team diversity probably but i just don't feel like this team is able to do things at the capacity that it's doing things like what like that's that's the like again here's siren freaking deciding to be a freaking god again like what are you doing this is an agron you should not be taking hits like a champ not taking any damage whatsoever from an agron like it's an agron it's a good pokemon it is a I was going to say it's a pseudo. It is not a pseudo. But it's a really good Pokemon. Like, what in the world? Septile. See, and then... I guess the only thing I can think of... Is that... Even though Siren's a tank, right? We kind of have the type... The, the types that do... Kind of, in a way, support it. Because we got Troll. Troll for the grass types and the other things. And then we have... Google blip for the electric types and the stuff of that nature. Um, and then we got um, on top of that curious that can hit hard, do things. I noticed it was super fang, so I didn't freak out. Uh, but yeah, we have like stuff like that of that nature. So like, and then we got Snorlax who can be just a special tank if I need it to be and let it sit and marinate a little bit. Then we got Clickbait, who just exists. 
um, to catch Pokemon at this point. Like, we actually have a designated catcher, um, which is something we I feel like we have not had. Is that literally it? There's no way. Okay, good. I was like, girl, like, what? I was about to freak out. It's like, there's no way that's the end. Because it wasn't. But if I go further down, that's the two items, isn't it? I actually don't think I've ever gotten these items. Even though they're like... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I should have gotten those items at some point. That's why I just went down that way instinctively. But who knows? This I might need repels for. Oh... Gloom plus why not, huh? That's fine by me. Yeah, I can go this way. Oh, there's a hidden item there, too. We missed two of them. Good job on us for missing two hidden items. Um, wow. Because there's one here that we're going to get. That's not a hidden item, but that's an electrizer. And then we have that item there. Oh, Bianca Joy. We have to, we have to, con we have to, uh, figure that out too because we got Bianca Joy with us so we got it we can't just be like okay let's pick up this item on this side we like oh, undershot it a green shard what does that even do for us I think that's for a leaf stone oh it is that like that's what that'll help us with is just a leaf stone I think Swoobat will actually travel it won't wow is that just the benefit of Bianca Joy? Probably. Honestly, Bianca Joy comes with many benefits, and one of them is just literally hanging out and having a fun time with Bianca Joy. Um, and having an episode designated for Bianca Joy. Um, that's, I think, the funniest part, is that Bianca Joy is going to have literally an entire episode dedicated to her just because she's just that amazing. I mean, we knew this, right? We knew that Joy was that amazing and deserved that. Oh, Fozzie. Look at this place. Look here, little. Okay. But, like, see, here's the thing. You auto heal me, so I don't need this to open up that doctor yet. What a place. It feels very strange. Could this be the place that where Reversal Mountain started from? The lair of a Heatran? Heatran is a Pokemon with magma, like, full blood flowing through it. I mean, cool, I guess. Like, <sighs> double buddies. That reminds me of the literally, um, wait, was it that long ago that, no, we had a buddy in uh, generation four, um, in Heart Gold Souls Over. I thought, I was like, we had Seth, it was the buddy. Seth was indeed a buddy. I was like, I swear, I remember Seth being a Badoo. Well, it's because I was right. Seth was a Badoo. But it's like, I, do you ever question yourself like that? Where you're like, I swear with this. And it, you're literally saying exactly what it was. But yet you're question. I might as well say it again. Watch freaking Oogleblip learn this. Like, Oogleblip just wants to learn everything. And I feel like Oogleblip would want to learn this too. Okay. No, you can't. Okay, cool. <laughs> Finally, we found the extent of what Oogleblip can do. But curious... Does Thunderbolt even help your moveset, actually? Because that helps you against what, exactly? Flying, which I'm never going to send you out against. Hmm... Flying, water, which you already cover. No, I'm not going to teach that bolt. And again, it's one of those I'm not going to actively, like, having a good moveset on Mons is not bad. But, like, what do I, I, the thought process is more, what am I actively having to cover? That's really what my, where my headspace is at. That shell made it like, look like a shiny animation, and I was like, oh my gosh, we did it, guys. It's like, no, you didn't. You weren't even close, but good, good try, I guess, for thinking you came close, but... Um... Oh, 
Ooh, pig knight? Imagine getting a shiny pig knight. That'd be crazy. Chill drive. Oh, is this downstairs just the wrong way entirely? It must be. I was not I was not expecting that to be the entire wrong way. Maybe that's why I've never gotten that area, because it's the entire wrong way. Um but in my head it doesn't it just I just went down just naturally. So I guess yeah, that's the entire wrong way. B drill. Level 44 B drill. That's still kind of an issue for our team. Like B drill B drills B drill's a problem. Oh. Now you're just up here poison type. Okay. I mean I guess you can become a pure poison type twice. Like, that's cool. Ooh. That on the other hand is not cool. Um, we don't have anything for that. Um, and Ho oh is a menace. Um I mean water's super effective. We can make grass super effective on it, which is actually kind of ironic considering the fact that literally it's a grass or a fire flying. So like it quad resists that normally. So in my head, hitting it with a grass move just doesn't make sense. But it's like, if we're having problems, we can fix it. How much does this do? Ouch. This seems like the, the chunk down fight. Mm. This does seem like the fight I'd have to chunk down some peeps. Because I don't see any other way to beat Ho-Oh. Other than chunking it down, like I don't think Siren kills on this hit either. No, it doesn't. Drill pack. Okay, Siren's faster, but I'm not risking Siren. Absolutely not. Mirror move. Oh, cool. Thank you for like th it. It hit a throwing attack because it, it it figured I was gonna kill it or try and put it out of its misery. But I was like, I just didn't want to risk the low rolls or the problems. Like, if I had the ability not to risk it, I'm not, I don't need to risk it. Here, have a person berry. Thank you. I appreciate that person berry so very much. You don't even know. Also, oh, geez, I'm looking at my Pokemon's HP and I'm just like, holy heckles, Batman. We have Pokemon with a lot of HP because we got, tr like, the Bronzong has 131. Right? And it's like, that's not even bad. That's not remotely bad at all. But yet, Troll, is, I think all, everybody on our team, except for Lopany and Siren, beat that. Crazy. Like, I'm so glad none of these Pokemon have Arena Trap. Because that could have been terif terrible to have to deal with, is just Arena Trapping Pokemon, but... Luckily, we don't, because I feel like that could happen. Like, that could very well happen. Also, did this guy just distract us and make us go down? Is that what his entire purpose was? Was it get you into a battle, distract you, and go down the entire wrong way? Because, I mean, good job by him for doing his job, but... Jeez. Yeah, this feels more like the right way. This is a forced double battle. Dang... Force double battle with Bianca Joy. <sighs> hmm. Blast at and Joy and Ryan because freaking why not at this point have Troll and or tro we have Troll Ryan and Joy on the same freaking battlefield. Troll Ryan and Joy. With Bianca Joy, with Bronze Long, a Pokemon I actually do like and enjoy. And now we're going to have Oogle Blip, which is going to irritate Joy, and freaking Joy is going to freaking use a Steel Move on all these Pokemon. Um, 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 um. Don't be fitting. Please don't be fitting. Please don't be fitting. Oh my god. That would have been the most fitting thing ever. For, for yeah. Okay, I, uh, I, I I understand you don't like Google Blip, but why did you have to do that? Joy. Joy. Just give me like 
15 minutes to have Oogle Blip, and then you can kill Oogle Blip. Jesus. <sighs> okay, Siren, I guess you're the one coming out now. I wasn't expecting a blizzard in the face. <sighs> Especially a crit blizzard to the face. Like, Jesus, Louises. Like, do we, do we need to do that, Joy? Do, do we need to do that? Like, is that what we're doing now? Because... I didn't get that memo. <sighs> Crab hammer that murders the Bronzong. Bronzong has aftermath. Ooh. And the Chrono's gonna attack me, which is fine. L Lucario, it's another freaking steel type. Joy. Joy, get your act together, please. We got that other joy out of the way. We got the imposter joy out of the way. But actually, it really wasn't an imposter because it went to go kill Oogle Blip. But <laughs> I'm forcing you to actually make the good choice. Hariyama and Unpheasant. Okay. I feel like Unpheasant goes for the Lucario. Oh, that's a focus punch, and I didn't attack into it. Um, please attack into the Hariyama. Joy, please, Joy, no, that's not what I wanted you to do. Attack into Joy. Oh my god, Siren, 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 be fine, Siren, be fine. You just be attacking into the Lucario slot. Thank you. That 100% murders the Lucario. Um, but it is non-stab now. Oh my god, Joy, you have a Flygon too. My god, Joy. Bronzong, Lucario, Flygon. Bronzong plus Lucario plus Flygon on the same team. Joy, you are crazy. <laughs> Not shocked, because of course you'd have a freaking god tier team. Oh, now, now we can't get away? Why can't we get away now? Also, why did you not use Psy Strike on the freaking Blastoise? But okay. I guess. I guess we can do that. Shiny Stone. Ooh. That might be able to help me out. I would think, rather, that it would be able to help me out. Oof, another force double. Okay, Bianca Joy. I have faith in you, Bianca Joy. But this is not the greatest of situations. Lapras and... Oof. That's a tough team, too. But, I mean, we knew we were at this part of the game, but... It's like, it comes to a point of what what and how do I want to make my decisions? I'm going to go with Lopany. No, I'm going to go with Lacey Larry, actually. Lopany's not a bad choice by any means. But also, like, how far do I want to go with the risks? Uh, that's a physical move on the wrong Pokemon. Okay. Coolio. Uh, water Spout. That's what I was expecting. I was expecting something of that nature. And oh my god, why are we critting? Stop that. At once. I have the critting move set. So you should not be the one critting. Um... I'm going to slash into the la- oh, That crit did half. I mean, it was a crit. It was a crit. But they didn't drill pack into me either. So do I have- Do I trust in the fact that Joy is not- I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna play it safe. Joy, you can magnet bomb the freaking Lapras and lower its attacks. 
I trust you to do that. Drill pack into... If it wasn't it... Oh, I made the wrong choice. Okay. I made the wrong choice. But Bronzong made the right... Joy did make the right choice. So trusting in Joy was the right decision. As far as, like... It turned into a neutral turn because I trusted in Joy. Otherwise, it would have 100% been a negative turn. Okay. Lapras is definitely more of a threat, but... Again, it's how do I want to go about this? Who do I want to trust? What do I want to do? It having water spout is big. So, I, I mean, again, I can't just not trust and joy, right? Because I'm the slowest on the field. So I've got to trust and joy, and that's probably the decision I would have made, too. Um, is either that or kill the Lapras. Uh, but I think she's expecting me to kill the Lapras. And doesn't see that as a big of a threat because it's only water spotting. It crit me again. Oh my gosh. Love disc. Okay. So now 100% of the time, Joy brick breaks into the Lapras. So I should hit into the love disc. She, fo she focus blasted. You have Brick Break that is way more accurate, and this is not a physical attacker or defense Pokemon. Okay, Joy. I mean, at least you killed it. I guess that's what I can say. At least you killed it. And then my slash play still is fine on the Love Disc. It yeah, it kills the Love Disc. We're fine there. B drill. I tr I trust. I trust us. We're fine. Lucario double edges and probably kills it anyway. Oh, a crit. Dang. Okay, Joy. You, you, oh, that was overkill. <laughs> but I'm not going to say no to overkill. I will definitely not say no to overkill. Also, hi, Raikus. We didn't know you were here until literally just now. Literally just now. Oh, jeez. The Bianca Joy situation is minorly frustrating, to say the least. Pearl string. Okay, that didn't do anything for me, but whatever. <clears throat> this is gonna be a lot longer than normal episode, honestly, partly because you know why not? Like, I didn't even intentionally do that, but <laughs> oh please! Like, it's crazy that I have not run into a shiny yet. <clears throat> I don't know. Is that just me? Like, I feel like that's kind of insanity that I have not yet ran into a shiny Pokemon, but... Oh, wait, give me that item. Expedef. Okay. Is this the right even direction? I don't even know anymore. I'm just going places without even, like, considering where I'm going. Oh, that was completely the wrong direction and just literally for that trainer. Okay. Um... I'm okay with that still. Okay. Gosh, what? That's crazy. Like, okay, troll level 47. Like, should I even, should I just give troll a chill pill opportunity? I feel like that might be a yes. I might want to give troll a chill pill opportunity. Because troll is viable, but I don't want to overuse troll. I'm gonna lucky egg Lazy Larry and put Lazy Larry in the front of the party. It's gonna be because I literally can't run away from anything, but oh. Oh, a Delaton's right through there. I want to keep looking a little bit more. What do you want to do? Should we say bye for now? Sure. I guess we're ending the episode. Fine, Joy. I wanted to not end the episode here, but. It's okay. You can just not want to hang out with me anymore and just kill a Pokemon. That's fine. 
no honestly i'm excited to see what joy kills like i appreciate joy and like care about joy's opinions and thought processes a lot so getting to see what she chooses is gonna be a big deal for me and this is a perfect spot to leave me with a decision of do i add a pokemon which i probably will have to but I have a lot of encounters that I could have gotten if we got through that cave a little bit faster. But nothing died, except for what Joy kills. And it'll be interesting to see what Joy kills. So we'll see you guys in the next episode when Joy kills Amon. And I think that it'll be a hilarious thing. I don't expect it to be too crazy, but I expect it to be a hilarious thing. Love you all. Bye.